In this video, we're going to show you how you can install custom texture packs here in Minecraft 1.21.7. This is going to be a step-by-step -step guide to help you get set up in just a few minutes. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we do though, consider leaving a like in this video, sharing with some friends, and of course subscribe to the channel with all notifications on. It'd really help out the channel. Also, I don't know what's going on with this error message down here. It's not going to change anything, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. But if you're having the same error message, I'm going to make a video on how to fix it later, so stay tuned for that. First, if you are in Minecraft and yes, this does include the launcher, go ahead and close out of that because you're going to need to choose the texture pack that you want to install. It doesn't really matter what you choose, but you're going to want to open up a browser of your choice and just search up curseforge.com and then click on this little Minecraft option here and click browse all. In this section on the left, you'll be able to go down until you find something like resource packs. And then what I also recommend doing is actually finding this game version tab and putting it on the most recent version of Minecraft. In my case, it's 1.21.7, but it doesn't really matter what you put it on. Just put it on something. Now, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and choose Ashen right here. I think it's like a fantasy medieval style one, but you could choose whatever one you would like from this list. There is a lot of them on here, so pick whatever one you like the most, but essentially find whatever one you would like and click on it and then find this little file section right here. Find the filter by game version option and change it once again to the most recent version of Minecraft and click these three dots and then hit download file. It's going to take you to a page that'll download it. You just have to wait five seconds and it should automatically start downloading for you. And what it's going to download is actually a zip folder just like so. Now, what I recommend doing is actually just dragging this onto your desktop because it's going to be easier for later to so just drag it on there. Now you can close out of that and actually open up Minecraft again by opening up the Minecraft launcher. And once it loads, go ahead and make sure the most recent version of Minecraft is actually selected. From here, go ahead and hit play and get loaded into the game. Now, funny enough, I don't have the error message anymore, so that's pretty convenient. Now, once you get loaded into Minecraft, what you're going to want to do is actually go into this little options section and find the little resource packs tab right here. Click on it. And then what you're going to want to do is simply just go ahead and drag in your zip folder into this option. And what it's going to do is actually pop up with something that looks like this. It's going to say whatever resource pack you have and say, do you want to add the following packs to Minecraft? Hit yes. And it's going to start importing it in there. And I actually already have this same version of this one. So I'm not really worried about dragging it in here, but drag yours in here. And then you just simply need to go ahead and click on it and then hit yes. And it's going to load it into Minecraft. But yeah, it really is as simple as that. If you do have any questions, don't hesitate to ask us down in the comment section below. And remember to like and subscribe for even more tutorials just like this. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.